Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is day six. Day six of our 40 days of prayer and fasting. And today we want to pray for an increase in love. We've already prayed. We've already prayed for, uh, in our first 10 days, our personal lives. We prayed that we realize our identity in Christ. We prayed for our personal and our family needs. We prayed for fellowship with the Holy Spirit and the production of the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. We prayed to be filled with the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. And today we're going to pray about an increase in love. In Romans chapter 5, verse 5, the Bible says, And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Our prayer directive is that we pray that the Holy Spirit will fill our hearts with love in the areas in our hearts that we may be lacking love. And as we respond to God, we want to ask the Lord to bring three people to our minds that we can be able to love more. We want to ask the Lord how we can specifically respond to them in his love today. That's what our prayer directive is. Uh, Love might just be the most powerful entity that affects both the emotional and mental states. Uh, In other words, love can alter the way we act and think about a particular individual or a particular entity. A mother's love for her child is always unparalleled and a man's always so possessive of the attention his lady shows. We could even call that jealousy and from experience that the greater the love, the greater the jealousy. That being said, God is an extremely jealous father, but he is also an all-encompassing family that offers so much more in times of our needs. So God's love compels him to be with us through the thick and thin. And since we are our father's children, we can't help but to emulate those characteristics. So we want to make sure that we are loving as God loved us. And we pray that God will now fill us and refill us with the power and the presence of his Holy Spirit so that we can love in areas that we might be lacking. Lord, we thank you for many blessings. We pray that that you may bless and fill our family with love, with peace and prosperity. We also pray for joy, abundance and strength. We pray for great health and continued healing. We pray for our loved ones. We pray your kindness and your mercy. And we pray for your guidance and for your protection. Lord, may you bless the union that those of us who are married have. Lord, we pray that you will bless the man or the woman that we love. And we pray that they will love us the same way that we love them. We surrender to you. We surrender to you who will bring us together at the right time. Lord, we pray for those marriages and those relationships that are in trouble. Lord, we pray that you will allow others to be able to feel the love and desire for us. Please allow us to be faithful to each other. Teach us to trust one another and to enjoy doing things together. Lord, allow us to be more intimate with each other and make our love stronger for one another. Lord, we pray because we want to thank you for granting us the resolve to stand before you today in acceptance of our faults and our wrongs. Lord, we may know that that we may have treated others badly and that there's pain that we have and the pain that we're feeling inside is due to our faults and due to our feelings. But Lord, we pray right now for an opportunity for you to give us so that we can apologize for our wrongdoings. Lord, we're praying that 
you will allow us to have love to return in our lives. Help us to love ourselves and to love one another, even with the faults and the things that we've done wrong. Loving you, Lord, is the best thing that has ever happened to me, O oh Lord. Lord, you've stood by me ever since the faithful day that, that I accepted you as Lord and Savior. You showered me with your pure love and blessings. You've had miracles in my life and given me divine protection. In fact, this prayer is only due to your power by which you kept me alive to see today and to be able to make this request. So, Father, I pray, Father in heaven, that you open up the eyes of my family and friends and the ones who love you like I do. Father, keep both their eyes and their minds open to your devotion and adoration. We pray, Lord, that love will return to them just as you've given us love to return to me. Looking back, Lord, we, we understand that happiness is the key to having a love-filled relationship. And Lord, from our experiences, we, we know that, that that is true. But God, right now, we pray for you to open the door of joy in our lives so that our relationships will endure. Lord, we pray that you will help us so that we can endure the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows, the ins and the outs, and the trials of this time. Let us breathe the aroma of sweet love and fully immerse ourselves in the happiness giving. Father, we give thanks to you. Lord, your, your word teaches us that we ought to love. It says, by this shall all men Know that you're my disciples when you have love for one another. So, Lord, right now, help me to love in spite of. Lord, help me to, to love and to show action because you demonstrated your love towards us and that while we were yet sinners, you sent Jesus to die on the cross for us. So, Lord, now help us to be able to love as Jesus loved. Help us to have a love that goes beyond liking. Help us to love ourselves. Help us to love our spouses. Help us to love our children. Help us to love our family, our friends. Help us to love the lost. And help us to love those who may not even love us or like us. Because we want to emulate you. We want to emulate the love that you displayed on Calvary. So fill our areas and our hearts that have become cold and fill those with love. Those areas that have, have now seemed to, to grow and to be so hard where it's hard for us to do things that you would call for us to do. We pray that you will fill those areas with love. We want to love like you. We want to express that love. We want to be able to show a dying world that there's a reality to serving a true and a living God. And we understand, Lord, we can't do this by ourselves. That's why we're asking your help right now. For we know that he who is in Christ is a new creation. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. And so as the old hardened hearts pass away, we're asking for you to fill us with that new creation of love inside of us so that we can go and be the Christians you are calling us to be. Lord, we love you. We adore you. We praise and magnify your holy name. It's in Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. I pray that today the Holy Spirit will fill your heart with love in the areas in which you've lacked. Don't forget to ask the Lord to bring three people to your mind who you can love more. And ask the Lord how you can specifically respond to them in love today. Thank you for joining us. I pray that you will tune in once again tomorrow at 7 a.m. as we continue our 40 days of prayer and fasting. God bless you. God keep you. May heaven smile upon you. Love you much. Pastor T. Have a blessed day.